What's up, Hustle family? I just wanted to elaborate on a topic real quick about being young and taking risks being more valuable than having money. So please notice I use the word valuable very strategically. When you're young, having money is necessary to survive. So don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that having money is not something that you need when you're young. Obviously, you want to be establishing yourself, saving, figuring out things. You need to live. You need to survive. You probably want to travel, shop, whatever you want to do. So don't be scared of what your parents might think, of what your friends might think, of what you wanted to accomplish, but you can't quite accomplish or get down on yourself. Because while you're young, please hear me one more time. Taking risk is more valuable because the potential to get a return on those risks is greater. Having money and sitting money in an account that probably doesn't give you any returns, that probably doesn't give you any percentage back, that's really not going to do much for you, especially if you don't know where to put it. Because if you build up as much money as you can and then you invest it in the wrong thing, guess what? You're done. Because you probably spend a whole bunch of time just saving money and then by the time you put it into something that you don't know how to flip it, you're done because you need to build it up from square one again. But right now, if you take risks, take risks, and you figure out, and you learn, and you adjust, and you fail without emotion, then you will be set up for the rest of your life. It doesn't matter how young you are. Take risks. Try. I had no idea how to do it. I didn't have a whole ton of money to just spend to figure it out. I didn't have any experience. I didn't have a network that could help me. But what I did have was the ability to try. I took the risk, I jumped out there, and that is one of the most rewarding decisions I've ever done because through fashion is how I learned about business, through fashion is how I learned how to build a brand, through fashion is how I met connections. So really, I feel like the person I am today is impossible without me taking that risk at 18. I was 18. The summer after I graduated high school is when I started my first clothing venture. And I had to reach out to my friends and really figure out how to do this. I have friends that knew certain things more than me. I have friends that knew how to design. Shout out to Dylan. Thank you, Dylan. I just want to, you know, take a pause and take a moment to say thank you, Dylan. She was very, very important in teaching me how to do simple things like sketch, teach me how to study trends, teach me how to really sit and develop product. So thank you, Dylan. Dylan Robin, I just want to, you know, take a moment and say thank you. Thank you to Anton, my guy. Uh, we've been rocking since kindergarten. You know, Anton was the first person that had more energy than me about reaching out to people about the, the product that we were designing and really helping with that sales push. So I just want to say thank you to Anton. Take that moment and, and really say thank you. Thank you to Jesse. You know, if you know me, you know Jess is, is my right hand. And uh, especially when it came to the clothes, Jess was ready to jump off the stairs immediately and start pushing that and start moving that. So... Thank you to those people. And there's so many others. I don't just want to say thank you to just those three people, but those three people were the first initial people that I reached out to when I was doing the venture and really helped. So I want to say thank you to those people. Um, I'm forever grateful because I learned a lot from you. And I would not be doing what I'm doing today or what I'm able to do tomorrow if it wasn't for those people being in my life and really helping me. So again, that all stemmed from me taking a risk. I was able to do a whole bunch of things with fashion because of that initial risk. So while you're young, take that risk and don't be so caught up in the emotion of taking risks. Yes, you might fail. It might be a little hard. It might be a little difficult. But guess what? Not chasing your dreams and not getting anything out of this life. That's more hard. That's more difficult because you will have to live with that forever. And I would rather live with something that I've learned from taking a risk than live with the regret of not taking a risk at all. Ooh, that was a bar, you know. That was a good line. I might have to like quote that or something. Go back and watch that. But thank you guys. I appreciate you watching this video. Go out, check out my other content. Follow me on Instagram. Like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. I appreciate your time. As always, stay hustling, my friends. Catch you later.